driving fans of the Cape Crusader, Batty. Obsessive in his anger and fixation on revenge. But will he be portrayed that way in a new movie from Warner Brothers coming out in June? Many hardcore fans are afraid he won't. They have been writing hundreds of letters to Warner Brothers since they found out about the man cast as Batman. The controversy is whether an actor like Michael Keaton, best known for roles like Mr. Mom and Beetlejuice, can pull off the part of the Cape Crusader. I think that he's kind of a wimp. It don't seem that it's right, you know, that you should have a smaller man playing as a Batman. Well, I'd rather see Arnold Schwarzenegger, but I think Arnold Keaton would be good, too. He needs some muscles on him. I would have liked to have seen a sexier person, you know, a more macho man. Most Americans remember Batman from the silly camp 60s TV series. But Batman the comic book hero is really supposed to be a tough guy. According to the legend, the young Bruce Wayne witnessed his parents murder by a criminal and then vowed revenge. He spent the rest of his life preparing himself physically and mentally and then came across the bad idea as a way to strike terror in the hearts of supervillains everywhere. He's doing it for revenge. His parents got offed. They cacked him, he's cheesed. He's gonna go out, he's gonna kick the crap out of people. He could use a little therapy. So when Warner Brothers announced a $30 million Batman movie that would treat the Gotham City crime fighter right, hardcore fans were elated until Michael Keaton was named to play the title role. He's balding, he's short, he's not broad, he's, he's just not there, he's not Batman. But then this trailer started to play in movie theaters around the country. Theaters reported people coming in just to see the trailer. It shows a dark, serious movie and a tough-looking Cape Crusader. Now I'm more willing to give it a try. I'm more willing to take a look at it. Everyone connected with the movie at Warner Brothers refused our request for an interview on the controversy, but director Tim Burton has said he wanted a kind of everyman in the role, a real human being with psychological problems. If I can just reverse the polarity, send out waves of super energy. But hardcore fans like Bo Smith of Cerrito, West Virginia, just don't trust Hollywood, especially after the success of the 60s TV show and movie. Bo's afraid Hollywood will just poke fun on what could be a legitimate drama. If I am wrong and Michael Keaton blows me away, I'll be the first to admit you can come back here and say, hey, Bo, you were wrong, and I'll say, yes, I was. But I don't think you guys are going to be making any trips back to Cerrito. <laughs> And what about TV's Batman? Who would Adam West want in the role he made famous? Well, naturally, I would have cast me. Would he play him differently this time? Maybe more like the disturbed vigilante in the original comic books? Would he play him as a nut? Batman is a nut. You're right. I mean, any guy who runs around in tights fighting crime 24 hours a day all his life stays peaked and ready for this is, is, is a little cuckoo. His, go his coconut is strange. He is a nut, so you got to understand that and you got to play him like that. But I tried to do Batman as a very likable nut. And, uh, uh, yeah, well, that's enough of this. And here's some trivia for you. Michael Keaton is actually the fourth man to play Batman. There were two serials in theatrical release in the 1940s. Here is the original, Lewis Wilson. He initiated the role in the 1943 serial, Batman. And then Robert Lowry played him in the 1949 serial, The New Adventures of Batman and Robin. And of course, there is no Robin in the movie because oh. the comic book company did a poll and the readers didn't want Robin, so they killed him off. Well, those same hardcore fans know that he's celebrating his 50th anniversary this year. Is that 50. right? 50. Well, yeah. he doesn't look like he's aged a bit. Well, and who cares if he's balding? He wears a hat anyway. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Coming up, we'll have our helpline, a new way for you to get involved with people who need your help.